Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking rest, and finding none, he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it swept and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Luke chapter 11, verses 24 through 26. A certain man was sitting in his garden in London, suffering agonies with toothache, trying to make up his mind to visit the dentist. He thought that he would have a cup of tea and a piece of bread and jam. He got the tea and the bread and jam. He took a bite of the bread and jam without noticing that a wasp had settled on it. When he took the bite, the wasp stung him extremely painfully in the gum. He dashed indoors and saw in the mirror that the gum was swollen and inflamed. He treated it and bathed it, and gradually the pain subsided. And when the pain of the wasp sting had subsided, he suddenly realized that the pain of the toothache was gone too. A medical man commenting on that story said that it is medically quite common for two pains to cancel each other out. In other words, paradoxically, the best way to get rid of one pain is to get another, and then they will eliminate each other. There you have an excellent example of the principle of displacement. The principle of displacement is the title of a sermon by the once famous preacher Percy Ainsworth. He took as his text Isaiah chapter 55, verse 13. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, revised standard version. The authorized version has fir tree for cypress. If one wanted to clear a piece of ground, he would simply take out a spiky, jagged thorn tree. But one does not leave the ground empty. He puts in a gracious cypress instead. He displaces the one with the other. When a farmer looks at a weedy patch of ground, he tears out the weeds. But he does not then leave the ground empty. He displaces the weeds with a useful crop. In life, the way to get rid of a bad thing is to displace it with a good thing. This is a lesson of the parable of the empty house that we read earlier from Luke chapter 11, verses 24 through 26. The demon is ejected from the house, the house is swept clean, but it is left empty. And the consequence is that the demon comes back with seven demons worse than himself and reoccupies the empty house. To keep the demon out, he should be displaced by good occupants. Rather than emptiness, displacement must be the principle of life. What about you today? Are you still struggling with that sin that seeks to overpower you? Why not ask God today to help you not only rid yourself of things that are evil, but to also displace them with things that are good? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. There is a Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son, precious Lamb.